So we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Oh! Knickers! That tank! That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? I cannot say. Whoa! Ah, ah. It's just a machine. Let's show it what for.
time for your magic. Right. Sanctify. How could this happen? Every man, woman, and child in my kingdom! How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not... this! Tell me why! My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father, and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury, a life they could never hope to enjoy. 
I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Mana. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then... My dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the manor touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar.